Previously, on Chosen Ones, Leviath obtains the medicine from Estel to stop his transformation, asking where Peter is so he can possibly try to get the Abigram to undo the curse. She says that he escaped a while ago, and occasionally visits the keep or appears at the edge of the forest. She informs him that Alias mergers can become unstable with time, and she fears that Peter may no longer be himself. Meanwhile, Brandy steps away from Theo and Alice to use his footnotes ability on the Black Sapphires. Theo talks to his aunt about feeling out of sorts now that he's back, all of the changes in his life happening too quickly. She suggests going to one of the hot springs in the mountains since the Jabbers avoid high ground, and Brandy is ascending to tell Leviath about the potential vacation spot. Later, when Brandy and Alice have a chance to speak in private, Brandy asks her for her blessing to marry Theo. She says it's ultimately up to Theo to decide, and that Brandy doesn't need anyone's permission to be happy. Shortly after, Arthur returns to teleport them back to the compound, the prospects of a well-deserved break leaving them in better spirits. Born from the same branch and leaves, wild and free, living here in harmony. Don't you see? This is where you want to be. When you leave, the world is never what it seems. If only we could travel back. and Brandy just got back. Uh, Shuey and Naviath. Naviath just got back, too, from his own escapade. That I'm, I'm sure that did not take him as long as Theo and Brandy were gone. Um, if we wanted to do a scene with Shuey before that, because he would have had all morning, it probably would be like the afternoon by the time Brandy and Theo got back, I would assume, at the earliest. So Shuey would have had time to do things. I'm, I'm giving you the chance if he wouldn't have just sat around all morning. Or he could have. He might be moping. <laughs> Nah, I think he'd want to go see how Dashi's holding up. Just check in on her. Okay, um, when you go to, to visit her on your way there, like, walking through the snow, uh, you do pass Abiath. Like, coming back? Yeah, like, he's he's coming from there, because he went there in the morning. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shui, hello there. Uh, Brandy wanted me to ask you something. He wanted to know if you wanted to have some fun at the mountain resort. Uh, yeah, I could, I could, I could use... Um, some fun right now. Great! I'll let him know once he gets here. Are you going to visit Estel? Yeah, um, I just wanted to see if Master Dashi was doing okay. Oh, well, she seemed to be doing fine to me, but, uh, go ahead and check if you'd like. Does she seem any bigger? Uh, I didn't notice a difference. It hasn't been that long. You're all tiny and insignificant to me. <laughs> <laughs> was she still kind of, um, freaking out? Seems like she's calmed down a bit. She didn't really say anything, though. Hmm. Well, yeah, I'm gonna go see if she's okay. And I have something to ask her, too. Well, we'll see... Well, then, we'll see each other later, then. <laughs> Some time thing just happened. I rewound. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Cassie. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> I want to imagine he actually does that in conversation. <laughs> like, cause he like, it would just be funny if a bias of all people trip over a word and then he does that. <laughs> <laughs> he trying. I'll, I'll see you in a bit, Yaya. 
See you in a bit. Goes to library. You enter the library. Matrestal. <sighs> Don't do that. <laughs> Uh, the creaking of the door from up above as she exits her study. She just had a conversation with Wyatt, so she's like, Shuey, hello. Do you need something? Uh, I just wanted to check on Master Dashi. She's doing okay. You can come visit her if you wanted to. Okay. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> okay. Here I come. Is that him correcting himself? Like being like, I need to be more energetic. I'm not sad. Uh, everything's okay. Yeah, everything's okay. okay all the time with Shui. Listen, Estel, even if she misses you, has such low tolerance for being around people. <laughs> she needs so much alone time. She is so introverted. <laughs> It's like, oh, I suddenly don't miss you guys anymore. I forgot you were like this. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it was so quiet <laughs> without them. <laughs> the loudest talker, Vyeth, and the most energetic talker, Shuey, were both gone for a hundred It was Draga. Days. Draga was the it problem. Was Draga. Draga was the only one. She, she spoke louder to fill the void. <laughs> And no one even noticed that Titus wasn't there because he never talked. <laughs> hey, I hate the idea that I hate the idea that that presents that Draga was so stricken with grief that she tried to mimic Aviath to pretend that he's still there. Oh. I know to fill the hole in her heart. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh, that's so sad. She really did be the next chosen one. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> we made it sad. We made the funny joke rock goblin sad. <laughs> <laughs> Look what you did to this rock goblin. You gave it depression. <laughs> Should we just parkour it? <laughs> Okay, to get up to the steps. Yes. Um, and Estelle has her arms crossed, and she's like, "Did you want me to not be here?" Uh, just just for a little bit. Okay, she is staying in my study, so I do need to come back very soon. But you are free to take her out. It's not like she's a prisoner, and she can leave, of course, if she wants to. But she's just acclimating. Uh, he nods to her. Um, but and he's gonna go in. And she waits awkwardly, standing yeah. outside. And you just hear like you just hear like a little voice be like, "Estel, Estel, look what I found!" And she's like, oh, "What?" You <laughs> she walks inside um, and looks for a master dashi. You look around and you find her after a couple moments. Not like immediately, but she's not hard to to spot because she. It seems like she's like constantly moving those little wings on her back because she's not used to them. So like you follow the movement basically to find her. She has a little thimble in front of her that has like, uh, like looks like breakfast food in it, like a little egg or something. <laughs> She's like, Master Dashi. Uh, you see her kind of like start at that uh, and looks over towards you. Uh, Chewy, hello. She's so quiet. It's usually like so hard for you to hear. His lip kind of quivers as he's like looking at her. I'm, I'm glad you're okay. Uh, sorry about sending you to the moon. I didn't, I didn't know that would happen. She stops with eating. And then looks up at you and points. And she's just like, you sent me to the moon? Well, I, I asked my friend Winona to keep you safe. And and she brought you where she was. Because she's safe there too. I was in the moon? Yeah, you, you didn't know that? I don't remember much of anything. Um, I remember seeing you in the, uh, the court. And then I remember just being somewhere for a long time and then wow you grew up so fast she says like trying to light lighten the mood like <laughs> no you just shrunk master dashi i'm joking chewy oh it's a joke uh, uh <laughs> sorry i'm very aware that i am small right now and you have wings i don't really know how to use them but, um, yes, they are a part of my body. Master Dashi, um, can I, can I ask you something? Sure. Um, back in Greenflower, you wanted me to lie, or... It, you wanted me to resist the judge's bark to tell the truth. Is it because you knew what I would say? I wasn't sure. I didn't know what you would say. But you, but you knew I did it, right? You knew I killed Fisk, didn't you? 
I'm still not sure about that either. Well, then can you can you tell me this? How did you meet my parents then? Shunkai and Sumi. They were new sword singers at the time, and they were looking for some guidance on how to use their weapons from someone more familiar. That was how I met them originally. And they asked quite a lot of me. Uh, like what? Well, mostly just not to ask questions about the things that they asked me to do. What kind of things did they ask you to do? They said that they were going to go away for a while. And they wanted me to raise you. As my own, in their own words. I would have done so anyway, but the fact that they knew they were going away, and they asked me not to ask them about it, was hard. So, I was already with them? What do you mean? Um... You are their son, of course you were with them. I'm gonna insight. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, 16. She appears to be telling the truth. Did I- did I seem- um... Can he remember anything about, like, his early childhood? I mean, like, normally I guess people wouldn't, but, like, can he remember, like, anything? You have memories of, like, being with kids Mm -hmm. in the town. Uh, you made friends pretty easily. Didn't seem like anyone was, like, Naruto-style ignoring you (laughs) or anything like that. You know, like, you made friends and you had good relationships with people. Uh, everyone had high opinions of you. Like, you were a rambunctious kid. You really only have good memories that you can recall from when you were young. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And he doesn't remember, like, anything about his parents, right? No, you don't. You do have that vague memory of, like, seeing them from behind, but not their, like, faces. Master Dashi, have you heard of, um, Ibishu before? <sighs> yes. I heard that... Um, Ibishi might have maybe died. Do you know how? I found out after that your parents, when they said they were going away, that they had plans to get rid of a certain god. His fist kind of tightened. Not in, like, anger or anything, but just like, what? 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 No, you know. What was... What was Ibishu even known for? As far as I know, he is not common knowledge. Very new and was not around. I'm thinking, because Ripley said something. (laughs) Ripley did say something. Yeah, because you said they were going away for a while. They told... Dashi not to ask any questions, but you said that when they did, they asked Dashi to raise Shui, which implies that Shui already existed. Yes, that is correct. Before they went to slay Ibishu. Yep, that's correct. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was confused by what you were asking, and I figured it out now. Yes, that is correct. Apparently, when he was born, as most elemental gods are, he caused some stir not as much as others no destruction no death or anything like that as other elemental gods have caused but they said the first thing that ever happened when he was born was he left and the lightning that spun from it caused massive storms in the areas for days they called him because of that ibishu the cackling sea jester also known as the serpent trapped in stars I, as far as I know, he was assigned, uh, or his domain, I guess, would be Reflections, Lightning, and Sea Beasts. Oh, that is despicable. Also, hey, Shui's a sea clown. (laughs) (laughs) Clownfish looking ass. (laughs) Can Shui remember seeing, like, 
anything odd about like any of your like reflections recently yeah other than like the parallel world like anything that happened within recent like years with like sea creatures or um reflections being weird i will say you know that you got your sword in the lair of a kraken that is true in terms of like reflections or anything like that you can roll a history check 17 plus 1 18 i would say it's nothing like necessarily outside of the like normal ordinary it's nothing that you would have like pieced together and been like in this moment oh that's why my reflection did so and so or anything like that i mean in your town that you're in uh, where you grew up and things like that there aren't a lot of like there weren't like people didn't own mirrors or anything like that the only time you would have seen your reflection is looking in water and it's so distorted from that that if there is anything going on you wouldn't have like noticed okay the only time in recent history that you can remember that things were weird is you looked into the water in that parallel world and also when you met abaddon and saw the weird reflection in the tv <laughs> okay what if what if ibishu never died do you do you think there's a way he could have lived i don't know your parents when they left they'd been coming and going quite a bit at that point they were going to mirror depths i think mirror depths it's where mizuni is the god that favored you Uh uh-huh yeah i knew growing up there was something different about you it was hard to not notice um and she kind of looks away at that and she's just like it just sometimes felt like there was something more to you. I don't know. It just... Sometimes it felt like I was in a room with two people instead of one. Oh, well, I think right now I feel like I'm two different people, too. Sorry. Uh, I didn't mean anything by that. You're, um... You're fine. Well... Yaya and Brandy and Theo invited me to go to the mountains with them. Did you want to come? Or... I think I'm good staying in one place. He nods. I'm just glad to have you back, Master Dashi. I don't feel like I was anywhere, so it's a little strange to be back, I suppose. To me, it feels like it's been forever. I learned so much. I think you'd be proud of me. I'm never not proud of you. Shut the fuck up, Cassie! You're gonna make me cry! What the hell? (laughs) (laughs) And she kind of is looking down at her eggs in the little... uh, in the little, um, thimble. If you are trying to find out more about yourself, I understand that. I understand there's a lot of confusion. I'm confused, honestly, about what happened with you and with everything going on, but that's up for you to decide if it's something that you feel like you need. What if I learn something really bad about myself? Do you think it's still worth knowing? Again, that's up to you. We spend our whole lives figuring out who we are and who we want to be. Sometimes it's okay for things not to go answered, but It's also good, I think, to know both sides of yourself. He um, ponders that for a bit, and he's just like, I think knowing who I really am, that will help me make the the right decision. I don't know what that is, really, but... But my friend Theo says that fate can be kind and cruel at the same time. We can't really choose our fates, but he's like putting his hand on his chin um, and he's kind of uh, like tapping it a bit but I feel like if I have all of the pieces I might be able to figure something out I can tell you the last thing your parents said to me and to you I guess before they left I don't have a lot of information about what happened again I said there were those horrible storms that happened about 20 years ago And they were gone on a mission at that time. I'm not sure what they were doing. At that point, they were working with the Prime Capital. 
And when they came back, they had you. It had been a year since I saw you. It didn't seem completely outlandish for them to have a child. And they said they had another mission that they had to do. And they said they were sorry. They hoped one day that you would be able to forgive them. And then they left. Hmm. Thank you for telling me that, Master Dashi. It's the least I can do. Just know that whatever you find out and whatever happens, you still get to choose who you are. Shui um, bows to Master Dashi and then um, waves her goodbye. And you leave. We can all gather back again once more as friends do. And I don't know where you all are in the compound, but you're all back at this point. Hello. Hi, Brandy. Hi, Thea. We're all back. Shut up. <laughs> I can't <hear> you. No. <laughs> I fucking draw my beast plate and I decapitate, decapitate Brandy. Decapitate. decapitate. Bitch, I, I'd love to see you fucking try. Uh, about time the plague bringer died. <laughs> 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 After all that, uh, by this, like I lied. I hate you. I hope I, w- I was hoping God would say they didn't forgive you. <laughs> Um, uh, hi, Brandy. Hi, Theo. <laughs> hi, guys. Um, how was I guess? Oh, no, he does. He literally does speak everything. <laughs> how was Auntie? <laughs> Hold on. How was Auntie Alice? Oh, uh, <laughs> um, she was she was well <laughs> surprised to see me, but it was very nice. Um, but I suppose. You both got the message and everything about the mountains. We did. Yes, uh, apparently it's safer up there. Like, jabbers don't go up there. So I just thought it would be fun if we all um, went and relaxed at one of the bathhouses up there. Sounds like a great idea. Yeah, we can relax and, you know, just take a little bit uh, to have a good time. After everything. Yeah. Master Dashi says that mountains can be therapeutic. It's pronounced therapeutic. What? That's not how it's spelled. <laughs> Wait, is it? It is. Chewie um, spells it with poo. He does. <laughs> <laughs> it is spelled that. Are you sure? Because it's not pronounced therapy. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> my, uh, you know, I don't, I don't have much to say to that. Actually, um, I think I'll just let you believe that. <laughs> let me believe what? I'm correct. I'm right. <laughs> Vice just raised an eyebrow in confusion and scratches his head. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you go see Estelle about your curse? I did. It seems like it should be halted for now. As long as I drink this, and he holds the bottle, he still hasn't drunk yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's like full to the top. Yeah. No. No drink out of it. I would have loved if the vibe was that dumb, but no. He drank it. He shows the empty vial, and he's like, uh, she gave me a little potion to deal with this. Oh, let me see. Let me see. Take off your helmet. Uh, well, I don't think it went away. I just said it was halted. Take it off. No. <laughs> 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 I'm buying it fan service. <laughs> Take off your armor. No. <laughs> Avaya takes off his helmet. Does he close his eyes or is it okay? He keeps his eyes closed or else everyone's going to get blasted with radiant energy. That sounds like a good time ah. to me. Turn to ash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Like Theo. You hit Theo okay. and he turns to ash. <laughs> <laughs> Burst of flame. Uh... Yeah, how is this? How is this horn? Is it still like a little nub? Yeah, it's it's again. It's like his helmet doesn't like move anymore when uh, he is so wearing it's it. But it's not nub. like he needs to get it. It's not like he needs to get it like refitted. It's just like it's filled the space. So I want to flick his horn. I want to. I want to poke it too. <laughs> they both reach up. Yeah, I have to jump. Guys, I can't see that they're doing that. <laughs> so he kind of jumps back as soon as he does that. As soon as you do that, like you just hear Theo going, "Guys," and then you hear. <laughs> Don't warn me next time. 
<laughs> it would be so funny if you like opened your eyes because she we probably had to jump to like and get yeah, up there. He gets blasted. <laughs> 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 Fucking Superman laser eyes here. <laughs> he really do be Superman, though, huh? He really yeah. do be. Wow, yeah, literally. <laughs> <laughs> My MC Superman All Might. <laughs> <laughs> Super All What's Might. What's his kryptonite? What is his kryptonite? Uh, his kryptonite uh, is being told his god doesn't exist. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> his kryptonite is all the other gods being mad at him that he doesn't worship them. Yeah. Saying Clayton. <laughs> <laughs> Clayton is his Clayton. kryptonite. <laughs> oh my god, fucking Arthur shows him the fucking, uh, what movie? She, she shoots Tarzan, and the whole time he's like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that name. It's so close to so far. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we, we're off topic again. This is just an off topic day. <laughs> and she's like, mm. <laughs> Sorry, Yaya, but it's not as pointy as Brandy's look. Does it hurt? Uh, doesn't really hurt. It's a little uncomfortable when I put the helmet on. You could cut it like Brandy did his. Could I do that? Uh, great question. I shave mine down. Or sometimes. The back ones at least. Probably could. Maybe. Hmm. It'd grow back eventually. It takes some upkeep. I see. Well, I would cut it off if it were that simple, but I don't actually know what this horn is, so... Might ask around a bit before trying that. Right, you got so you did get that checked out then. Yes, I still only knew how to stall it. She told me that whoever blessed me, you know, to be an Asmer, might know how to reverse it, or I might have to ask the Abigrim. Uh, well, do you? Where is uh, where is Peter? By the way. Oh, he's in his cabin. I'll go check. He's not. What? What? Boy, I looked around. Looked around. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we both did. <laughs> <laughs> we looked around. Two giant 50 foot men looking around for Peter. That's right, 50 foot. <laughs> it's Correct. canon. You heard it here. Yep, what? Uh, Estel told me that he tends to appear in the keep at night, and if he's not in the keep, then he's uh, at the edge of the forest. Uh, he wasn't in the keep when I went last night. You also didn't look for him. Did you went to the keep last night? Uh, oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Why'd you do that? Did it go well? Are you okay? Uh, um, yeah. uh, uh, uh. <laughs> the keep itself is safe. I just recommend taking a mentor to go there next time. Or one of us, we could, uh, come with you. Make sure you stay safe. I mean, you know. <sighs> no, it's, I needed to do it alone. Well, you don't have to do everything alone. We're your friends for a reason, Joey. I, I know, it's... I told Yaya this morning, but... Um... Uh, and I, and I guess... You, you and Yaya already know... But Theo doesn't... Um... Uh, he turns to Theo, and he's like... Theo, have you... Heard of Ibishu before? I am. Um, I mean, I guess maybe it sounds a little familiar. I don't know. Uh, what what's that again? Well, Master Dashi told me that Ibishu is a god, the god of lightning, reflections, and sea beasts. Ibishu was supposed to have died years ago, but he didn't die. Uh oh. Um. Uh, okay. Because, uh, I'm Ibishu. He says and looks away. <laughs> oh, um, like the same one? I'm not sure. I don't. Um, yeah, the same one. I think my parents, they're not my actual parents. And I went to the keep because I found out that my actual parents were Mizuni and Barada. Oh, um... That would ring bells because if I did a check on Verada. I assume he would have said that Verada is an evil god. 
lawful evil, um, and there's the god of darkness, wrath, and grief. And you would also know that to be the god Brandy. So yeah, he just kind of blinks, and he's like, well, um, family's more about, uh, it's more than where you come from, y you know? I mean, you're still the same Shui to me. Mizuni said that someone did something to me and, and made me mortal. She also said that if I got my memories back, I might I might try to kill Winona. Hmm. Yeah, when Avaith and I were in that other timeline and went to uh, get you, you definitely weren't uh, you and weren't too friendly either. Oh. Uh, when I was in that water. Yeah, we found a bijou for a second. But we're able to snap you out of it, thankfully. Right, Amath? Right, that's what I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I don't know how I turned out this way, but do you think do you think I could have been merged too? <sighs> you want me to try and find out? How? I got a special uh, trick I can do. Try and find some info on that. Um... Here. He'll hold his hand out and summon a uh, summon the book. If you want, I can search up the name of Bishu, or I can try at least. I can't guarantee that I'll get it. Lux to Yaya. It's up to you. Um, uh, sure. I will try and say uh, I want to learn about a Bishu. Here we go. Eighty-eight. Yep, works. And then you see the book flash and the pages start turning. Wow. I've never actually seen you do it. <laughs> That's yeah. amazing. It's a, it's a fun trick. And then it lands on the page titled Ibishu. And he reads out loud. Be what you like if it makes you feel free. But don't be yourself. There's blood in the sea. You are made with a purpose, dark on both sides. Though race with love, you follow the tides. Can you truly turn evil towards something pure? Or are those childish tales, which you're not anymore? Are you a good soul, or do you simply lack sin? Keep looking for answers. You won't like what's within. Theo looks mad at that. <laughs> <laughs> that does not seem right. I don't like how that was worded. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty cryptic. Well, not, not the cryptic part. Oh, no, yeah, I, I understand. Uh, Shui, whatever you find about yourself, um, it's going to be your own journey. It doesn't matter what you were before. I think... I think Master Libris knows... About me. Yeah, we need to fucking talk to Libras too about that whole everything that fucking happened. Sorry, go on. When I asked her about Ibishu, she lied to my face. <laughs> now that's just rude. <laughs> <laughs> I love Theo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> she told me not to ask her about it anymore. Oh, well, if it's about her, I mean, I can respect someone wanting to be private, but if she just lied to you, that just seems not right. Uh, it's about yourself, you know? Uh, it's important, but again, I, I would say don't take your past too um, harshly, I guess, or uh, what did that book say? It was something dark on both sides and that you won't like what's within, but that, it doesn't matter. You can learn it if you really want to, but I just think that the person that you are now is what you built yourself up to be. You shouldn't let anything about, I guess, what was expected of you affect what you want to become. Does that make sense? 
But if it's true that I'm a god, then I thought this place was to train chosen ones. I, I can't become a chosen one. So why am I even here? Uh, um, I mean, you had that spark, but hmm. Yeah, there's something there. There's something with you. You still have a spark, which means you. You're not all god, because as far as we know, gods don't have them. They're unique to folks, to people, mortals. Well, that's what you said, wasn't it? That you're, I mean, that you were mortal now, or something? But, if I was merged with somebody, then, then, wouldn't they have a spark? I don't know. I don't know if you're interested in this, but uh, when I talk to Peter, we might be able to force a meeting with you and it'd be shooing away if you want to try and fish for answers. There's a possibility if I were to cast a certain spell on you, a spell I got called Dream, because when we were at the courthouse, we saw for a minute, your eyes were flashing, something was changing. It seems like Abishu's just dormant inside you or something along those lines. We might be able to get in contact with him through those means. Maybe. So you went and talked with the Abigrim. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> I walked into that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Theos, you're like, I'm a deer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hun, darling. <laughs> when was this? Avias would also speak up, but Avias is also like, oh, I was about to speak to the other room. It's like, he's not going to say anything. He's <laughs> just like looking away. <sighs> A while ago, before everything went down, I was just looking for answers and trying to parse some info around him, see his uh, uh, motivations and whatnot. Oh, I mean, I was trying to figure out at the time how to fix Aviath, but he didn't seem too keen on doing that at the time, at least, but, you know, uh... This ain't, this ain't about him. I'm saying, Shui, we can try, if you want, to try and get in contact with the Bishu. I think I want to. All right. Theo's gonna send a message in Brandy's. <laughs> you bet, I knew you. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna take his hand to hold and kind of pat it a little bit, and he's like, next time just tell me before I have a heart attack, okay? <laughs> <laughs> He'll mess it back in your head like, Right. I mean, it was in a dream, so it's not something too big. I don't know, you know, you never know what could have happened. Maybe something could have happened, and I would not know. <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry I about just, it. I just want to know. Are you going to this? Of course, I dear. I'll know. let you know. Yep. I'll let you know next <laughs> time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Both just staring straight forward at Shuri and having this conversation in their head. Leviathan didn't say that he wanted to talk to the Abigram, did he? He said earlier. Oh, he did, yeah. And then he'll look to Leviathan uh, and be like, speaking of which, uh, the Abigram tried to talk to him too. I made a little bit of headway with him, it sounded like, when I first met him. Uh, again, talked with him. I don't know that he's all bad. He's certainly angry for a lot of reasons. And I don't think he's a good person yet, but I wasn't a good person either, and here I am. I think there might be something we can fix, and it'd be a good idea to try and see if he'd be willing to help you. Because if we're willing to help, maybe it's like a we ha he helps you, we help him sort of thing, given Peter's merged with him. I'm sure neither of them want to be a part of that situation. Uh, I'd be willing to talk, but I'm sorry. It's not so easy for me to forgive the Abigrim. No, that's fine. 
I don't think you have to forgive him. I understand where he's coming from, what it's like to have the whole world against you. So I can empathize with him. That way. I see. I'll hear him out. It might not even lead to anything. We might not even know. We might not get anything out of it, but it wouldn't hurt to try. Like, like your, the oath, everyone's, you know, got a little good in them. He kind of doesn't respond to that for a while. And then he nods and you're like, you're right. I guess if he wants a second chance, maybe it's worth paying attention. Yeah, we gotta have that conversation when we do it, but uh, we can try right now, shall we? If you want. No, not now. You guys want us to go to the mountains, right? Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like us going back to stressful shit is gonna be, you know, stressful. So I feel like if we get all the stressful shit out of the way first and then go to the mountain to enjoy ourselves, it might be better. Because then we're just waiting, knowing we have stressful shit to go back to, right? <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Theo's, Theo's here like, we could not do any of the stressful <laughs> shit. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> He's like, all the stressful shit you're talking about, we could just not do it. Shuey wants to do it to find out about himself, so Theo's a little more forgiving. Okay. Is there something wrong? Something wrong? No, it's just, you know, everything's stressful. And if we did it now, if we just got it out of the way and then and then went to do the fun, you know, relaxation time, we could do it with a lot clearer heads and not, you know, have to worry. I understand your point, Brandy, but on the other hand... The more information we learn, the more questions we might end up with. Yeah, that's inevitable. It's Cassie's campaign. There's no fucking way that we're oh not going to end up with more questions. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, he, he's like, don't, that... don't bash on me. I control this world. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, all the jabbers are in the compound. Okay. okay. Yeah. No, he, he nods. That's, yeah, I suppose. I suppose so. I guess. I mean, I guess. Yeah. We can't really know how it'll turn out, so maybe it's better to go now. Up to you. I will say, this isn't to like persuade you one way or the other, but if you did get your stuff out of the way, that means next session could be entirely at the springs. So it could be like a whole we'll spring say, session. Though, next session could <laughs> also be all of us at the springs the entire session. That could be cool. So Theo <laughs> just kind of chimes in and he's like, well, at the end of the day, it's up to it's up to you. What what do you want to do, Shui? You don't have to make a decision right now, but... Um, okay. A spring episode sounds cool. <laughs> like, TBH. <laughs> it does sound like fun. Um, but could we fill up a whole episode at the springs, though? Like, do you think... <laughs> yes, absolutely. I mean, if I, if I had more time, because right now I was planning yeah. on it just being a little side thing, like an hour or two, but, like, if we wanted to do a full session there, I could add more things. Cassie could put shit into it that we can all go and do. It could be, like, a whole resort. Mm. Yeah. Could we go shopping? Are you think there will be shops there, too? Sure. Fuck yeah, there will be. Fucking who cares? There's an amusement park. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, fuck yeah! Fucking we're going to roller coaster episode, down baby. the fucking mountains. Hey, there's a there's a giant fucking slipper slide. A, I don't fucking care. Hell yeah! See, that sounds dope. I want a whole session of that. Yeah, I want that too. <laughs> we got a stressful episode and then a peace episode, right? Okay. Yeah. Um. I just. I I made up my mind. I just I just want answers. Uh, who am I really? Am I Ibishu or? Or am I shooey? And maybe I really am better off without my memories, but I at least want the chance. I want the choice. He says. Almost reminiscent to what Winona said in the movie. She was like, don't I have a choice? <laughs> Which is like valid. <laughs> right. Um, everyone deserves a chance to face their past, right? Yeah. And Brandy's like, ow. <laughs> my backstory. Yeah, that specifically hurts me. And Theo's like, and you have the choice to reject it as well. Yeah. 
And Theo's like, ow, my backstory. <laughs> yep. Yep. And if I have like, oh, your past can be great because uh, it's me. <laughs> it's it's time to project. <laughs> <laughs> literally though it like when um Theo was like explaining earlier i was like this is like way like way trans leaning on the how he's yeah. wearing it <laughs> i didn't even mean to but it was like it doesn't matter who you were for i'm like yeah i didn't mean to do this but like that's what this is <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> your evil cis self should we <laughs> just reject him <laughs> reject your cis should we <laughs> Banish the sin out of you. <laughs> you control the clown. The clown does not control you. <laughs> what? God. <sighs> Fucking lightheaded. Shut up. Okay. 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 Theo, Theo will step forward uh, and he's going to take Shui's uh, hand and up into like a how do I explain what this is he's just kind of like reassuring him yeah just holds his hand reassuringly whatever you find out about yourself and whatever you choose we're still here for you Shuey and I think yeah. we've by now we've all come to the little the feelings of us sticking together and just being family, really, so. Yeah. Aww. I agree, and to me, you'll always be Shui. Aww. Whatever you decide for your future, you'll be Shui if you want to be. Shui, um, smiles. He pulls them all into a hug, and he's like, I love you guys. <laughs> I love you too. I love you too, Shui. Love you too, Shui. Okay. I was, I was, like, I was yeah, waiting for it. <laughs> I was like, hello. I was waiting. I was like, you better say it, you son of a bitch. You're his best fucking friend. I was like trying not to cry. Literally. He's like, I can't speak right now. It'll show weakness. <laughs> I'm too <laughs> weak. <laughs> I can't be weak. I'm too tall to be weak. We <laughs> have <laughs> weak. fucking teardrops hitting against the metal in his helmet. Oh, he took his helmet off. Oh, that's well, right. His guy. eyes closed this entire time. <laughs> That'd be so no, good. it only takes a minute. It just takes a minute. Yeah. Was he you crying? Be open by now. No, I would love for them to be off the whole time. And he's facing the wrong people he's talking to. Like he's looking at the and he's like, "Oh, he no, this is emotional." <laughs> Cassie, you can't. Okay, fine. Um, but um, yeah, is he crying? I just want to know. I just want to know. Yeah, Jay. Yeah. Uh, no, I wouldn't say he's crying. Coward. Not quite yet. <laughs> yet. Oh. Not quite yet. Just quick, someone say something else emotional. <laughs> I think we, I think we, we brought it to its peak. I think we Shui, can't. say you're his family. What? Just say you're my family. Say you're okay. my family, Shui. Make a wife cry. No, I'm just okay. kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are the best family I could have asked for. Oh. <laughs> Hugs tighter. Yeah, big hug. As literally, Shuey and Theo are like getting squashed yeah. between. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Thank you to our high tier patrons Dion Miranda, Zab, Levy Rose, Arceus a Druid, Krypton, the Hat Man, Charles, Jessica Long, Z, and Mr. Bakudon as well as our Kickstarter backers for this season. If you haven't already, make sure to leave a like on the episode and leave a comment. We'll see you soon, fellow Sparks. Morning soon The light dims fast here should we go outside again one more day, my dear? Why don't we just stay as the familiar fades away? Things are the same day by day. What are you waiting for, darling? What are you running from, stranger? Where are you hiding now? Don't you waste this chance? Do we have?
have time for this dear friend How could we ever run out now All that we have is this moment Let's make time Time for the end of this story Time for the start of our new life for us all to come back for fate's last encore Will we find out what this all means? It means a lot that you're here now Let's make the most of this, shall we? We have time